What up everybody, it's your boy Big L. Got a problem. Dealing with this here Emerald Plus. It's a 5000. It's uh, kind of making a video to document all the crap you gotta do here to change this bearing. There was no videos I could find. But evidently you gotta pull this whole, I can't figure out, there's no way to like pull that out of there. But you can see the bearing is all ate up. And I don't, there's like no way to get it out. Except for maybe from the backside. I'm not too sure if I'm doing this right or not. But all this looks extra dirty in there anyway. So I'm gonna pull it all apart, clean it up. There's a video of the wires and the way they're going. I had to disconnect that right there. These two white wires go into, into this stuff. Like the one white goes into there, the top terminal of that. And the other one goes there, and the other one goes there. And you got that one goes to the orange. I already disconnected that earlier, and then this should be the oil pressure sensor, I think, if I ain't mistaken. So we'll disconnect that one as well. I've already had to pull the plate off, disconnect the actual power feed that comes in through the backside here. Okay, because this is usually sitting like that. So we're like that, but it sits like that in the RV. So, yeah. This has been quite the pain in the you know what. I had to pull the starter off to lock up the start the flywheel. You can pull this bolt out, which I'm not too sure what it does, but it somehow bolts all this stuff together through there. It, it doesn't really hit the bearing now, so I don't understand why that bearing can't just be pulled out from this side, or why they didn't make a way, or there ain't no video to tell you anything. So I'm having a hard time with it, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to pull this all apart, clean it up, and then I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure it out one way or the other. There was one video where a guy was taking this thing apart to check his uh, brushes over here. So I gotta take those out too, supposedly. I disconnect the fuel line. All kinds of stuff. I had to stuff stuff in the. One guy said stuff some rope in the spark plug holes. It didn't really work too well. <laughs> Couldn't get enough in there to matter. So I just took the starter off. Use the chisel to hold it right there on the teeth. Broke that junk loose. And it seemed to work out pretty good. But anyway, yeah. Trying to replace that bearing right there. It ain't no fun. It's no fun. So. Mm, had to remove the air filter box. And the whole box of random bolts. Had to take a bunch of pictures. Because there ain't no good information on this thing. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. A uh, little bit more information I learned watching this is evidently that uh, oil pressure thing is a problem with these, and we don't sense the right oil pressure to cut off, or if the sensor goes bad, or whatever, and won't start up. So you got that problem going on. They got fuel pumps on them, which that ain't much fun. You gotta make sure those work all the time. They get really dirty You're sitting up underneath it there. You can't really change the back spark plug over here with it mounted in the thing unless you're like a contortionist you got to take it out of that cage and then it has another cage on it so you got two cages to deal with you also got the exhaust down there i took that off big muffler thing right there so yeah not quite the ordeal you gotta have one of these to get it out from underneath the rv or some kind of jack or a couple of strong dudes or something about to have to use this crane right here to pull that off. You're supposed to, I guess, put a 9 16 something other in here. 9 16 bolt. And it's supposed to go in there because it's got threads already. And you just pick it up off of there. But that tells me that the inside of these windings and stuff is going to be all stuck together still. So I ain't quite figured out that nightmare yet. And I'm hoping it, it doesn't seem to be attached here at the flywheel. But I ain't really looked up in there for too good. I don't really see nothing. That would look like inside of there. Let's see if I can. That's about the best I can finagles. 
But I don't see anything like no turk converter bolt holes or nothing that you gotta unbolt. So we'll see. I'll uh, make an update number two video. I'm definitely gonna make this a two-parter because I'm not gonna let my phone sit here. Oh, I'm pausing. I have any entertainment while I'm doing. But, uh, yeah. Wish me luck. Keep your fingers crossed. This is your boy Big L checking out and, you know, hoping I can get my RV back up and going so I can go do some things, you know. And then you got this. Just, just messing me all up. Check y'all later.